Here's two quick tips on dimensioning within sketches. If I come in here to this one here, so we can see we've got an arc and some lines. And if I was to pick this bottom point here, I was to simply pick the arc because I want a dimension to the top of it. There's no quadrant equivalent like there is in, in AutoCAD. But if I just pick the arc here, I can see it's going to snap to the center. And that's not really my design intent. Now, obviously, I could create a dimension and relate it and say, well, it's the height here plus the radius. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this bottom line. And I'm just going to, I didn't pick the end point, I should be clear. I picked the line itself, not the end point. And what I'm going to do is just move my cursor here. And what I'm going to see is that that's actually going to change. So I can see that it's changed to this little symbol here, showing me that it's actually going to snap tangent. Now, the key here is that it's snapping tangent. It's not, not snapping quadrant. So if that line had been at a different angle, I wouldn't have necessarily got it um, a vertical dimension. It's going to be tangent to, to the arc and, and um, you know, based on the position of the other, other line. So to show that, let's just draw a, a line in like this. Let's create a dimension. So I want to go from here and notice that in this case, we can see that I'm getting a different result because that line at the bottom is at an angle. So there's the first tip for, for dimensioning is you can snap tangent. Now the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a line and I'm not going to make this line a construction line. What I'm going to do is make this line a center line. Now the key here is that I went into the format tab and made it a center line. So what I'm doing here is I want to design a shaft. So I'm just going to I'm just going to snap in a couple couple objects here. And now what I'm going to do is come in here and apply a dimension. Notice that when I select the center line, it actually dimensions it as a radius. So no longer do I have to worry about, well, I really wanted this to be, I wanted this distance here to be um, one and seven eighths. And then I got to think, okay, I want one and seven eighths divided by two because I'm dividing the radius. No, I can just come in here and just add one and seven eighths. And I'm actually dimensioning it as a diameter, even though there's not a circle there. So for, for circular parts like shafts and, and pinions and other things like that, there's some real advantage to using a center line um, to be able to dimension that. So again, there's just some, some quick tips about dimensioning um, within the Inventor Sketch environment.